Why does my leg hurt when I walk upstairs? Why does my knee hurt when I walk upstairs? Why do my hips hurt when I go upstairs? And what is the right way to walk upstairs? And how can I build the strength to walk upstairs safely and properly? Are there exercises I can do? How do I do this without hurting myself? We're gonna talk about all of that in this video. So now let's get upright. First things first, let's talk about the right way to walk upstairs. Think smooth, think control. Think about your pelvis staying level and think about your leg muscles doing the work. There should be no pain and pain in your knee or in your hip and there should be no herky-jerky motions where you're trying to cheat your way and amble your way up and down the stairs by tilting your torso, your hips, or throwing your legs wildly up to the side. Focus on the leg moving relative to the pelvis and the pelvis staying pretty still so that neither the left nor the right side rises up higher than the other side in any significant way. Properly walking up the stairs requires strong gluteals, it requires strong thigh muscles like your quads and your hamstrings, and it also requires your calf muscles reasonably functional. If you're weak in your quads or you're weak in your hamstrings and glutes, you may experience hip and knee pain. This doesn't mean you should stop walking up stairs and avoid them altogether. It means you need to build the strength in your legs and hips to do it comfortably. So now let's talk about what you can do to build hip and leg strength to walk up stairs safely and properly on a daily basis. Real quick, I want to say thank you to Hockey Mom 46 for her $10 donation to support this channel. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to support this channel, hit that thanks button down below. I also want to say thank you to Barrett for emailing his question about figuring out how to walk up and down stairs properly despite his hip bursitis diagnosis. He's in his 60s and he wants to get strong and he wants to fix these muscle problems. So Barrett, this one's for you. So how do you build stronger legs so you can walk upstairs safely and comfortably? Well, the answer is you don't need to go out and buy a giant leg press machine for $4,000 and install it in your garage. You don't even have to join a gym, though that might be helpful. I'm gonna show you some simple things you can do at home or in your office building that will build your leg strength and make it easier for you to do the stairs properly. If you have stairs in your home or in your apartment building or at your office, it's really simple to start building your leg and hip strength for walking upstairs. Use the handrail for assistance and remember to use it only as much as you actually need to get up the stairs. Don't use your whole upper body to pull yourself up so that your legs are just going along for the ride. Make sure you can feel the muscles of your legs and hips doing the work. The amount of forward lean that you have and where you place your weight on the front of the foot or towards the back of the foot will affect which muscles tend to work more as you take each stride. If you want to strengthen the quad muscles, putting more weight in the ball of your foot towards your toes and leaning forward will tend to recruit the quads a lot more and force them to work a lot more. If you want to work more of the back of your thigh, meaning the hamstrings, then you'll want to put more weight towards the back of the foot or on the heel. It's a good idea to practice putting your weight both towards the ball of the foot and towards the heel to see where you are weaker and where you find the most benefit. You want to have the strength and ability to go up the stairs with your weight both in the ball of the foot and in the heel but make absolutely sure that you train with weight in the ball of the foot because being able to do that without assistance is gonna help you get even stronger and more athletic for the long run. If you live in a building with a set of stairs that you can climb up every day, then maybe alternate one day more focused on the ball of the foot and one day more focused on the heel. Just remember to use the handrail only as much as you need, and as you feel your legs get stronger, start using the handrail less and less until you don't need to use it at all. If you live or work in a building that has stairs, then you have a perfect opportunity to be practicing this on a daily basis. However, it's important to remember that when you first start building strength and you first start using muscles in any way, it is highly likely that you may end up with a lot of soreness. 
So I recommend that you practice as often as you feel you can without crippling yourself with soreness. Within a few weeks, you're probably going to notice at least a significant percentage change in the smoothness or the easiness that you feel when trying to climb upstairs. That's not to say that you're going to be perfect. If you're starting from zero, you're not going to be bounding upstairs at a full tilt but you probably will notice that you can push a little bit stronger with your legs. You'll notice that you don't have to grip so tightly with your hand and arm to pull yourself on the handrail. Just look for those improvements over time and use those to help you stay motivated. Now, for those of you who experience knee pain while walking upstairs, I wanna talk about an exercise you can add to your training regimen that'll help you build strength in the muscles directly around the knee. This is a great exercise that I picked up from the knees over toes guy who's also on YouTube. You should check out his channel if you get a chance. And this exercise is really simple. You can just use stairs, put your foot up on a high step in front of you, and then you're going to start shifting your body forward, shifting your hips forward, loading into that front foot. You're just going to go as deep as you can into that position and then push yourself out of it using the muscles of that front leg. This is a front foot elevated split squat and it's a really great way to build strength in the muscles that directly cross the knee. When you do this, start off with a higher step and then as you get better and better at it, you can go to a lower step. The lower step will make it harder and put more stress on the knee. Start off with a light to medium difficulty level with this exercise. It should feel like you can get to 10 repetitions reasonably easy. You shouldn't be grunting, sweating, and groaning to do it. If it feels that hard, then just gradually work your way up towards 10. And when you can hit 10 pretty easily, then think about lowering the step so that you can make it a little bit harder and a little more challenging and just lower down the number of reps. If you're a total beginner to training your legs, I'd say just do this twice a week, do it on Monday and Thursday, and just do two sets on each side. And if you have a weaker side, feel free to do an extra set for that weaker side. And be sure to give yourself at least a minute of rest so that you can fully recover. So if you do your right leg, then your left leg, take a minute, relax, catch your breath, and then do right and left again. As you get stronger with that exercise and as you practice walking upstairs more often, you're gonna notice that you're getting stronger and you're getting more advanced. Once you feel like you are really getting pretty darn good at walking upstairs one step at a time, you can consider going up two steps at a time. That's gonna require more strength in your hips, more control of your upper body, more strength in your legs, and when you can do it, you're going to feel awesome. I say that speaking from experience because in my 20s and 30s, I went through a very long dark period where my legs and hips were so weak, I could not really handle walking upstairs with smoothness, ease, and strength. So now you know how to walk upstairs properly and how to build the leg strength and the hip strength to do it in a pretty easy and convenient way. If you're wondering how to get down the stairs properly and how to build the strength for that, I've got a video that'll be coming out on that topic soon. And when it's out, I will link to it down below in the description box. If you'd like to support this channel, hit that thanks button down below and leave me a tip. And I promise not to use that money to destroy the world. If you don't wanna leave me a tip, that's totally fine. Just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I said, hit it, please hit it, please, please hit it right now. And share this with somebody you know who needs help walking upstairs. I'm Matt Shu from Upright Health, reminding you that pain sucks, life shouldn't.